So whilst we are waiting for everything to glue, I'm going to make the wee handle for the lid and I'm going to make it the same width that I'm making the lid and I've got a cool way to do that but first I'm just going to draw my wee shape on it and then I'll cut it, rough cut it in the bandsaw so I'm just going to I want it about mm, let's, well, let's see how thick is that Let's just make it the same thickness. I'll we'll cut about that much off in the bandsaw. Right. Um, a bit there. And we we'll just want a wee rough. Like a wee, like a wee pawn piece. And there's loads of ways to do this, but I'm going to use the drill press to do this. And I'll show you how. I just want to wee handle like that. And it's just a wee rough. Right, we'll cut that out on the bandsaw. This bit here will cut out on the bandsaw. <laughs> Do by hand. You need a lathe to do things like that, so a bit of cleaning up because it broke off there, but other than that, it worked out good, and that'll be a good wee honnel. <coughs> so, after what that was two and a half hours of drying, and the was solid. Ready to be working on it. Oops, solid. Oh. Have a slight wee knocker, it's just, it's just a wee twist, which that's fine. We can we can sort that. But there's there's where my gap was. You can see it's all 
covered in glue and sawdust and we're going to sand that right away down you won't even see any of this stuff but when I'm finished sanding with it but first thing now is we need to make this lid so and all I'm going to do is put that there get my pencil I'm going to scribe a line on the inside to get the exact shape out this is another way you can see to make sure your box is square That's mm, maybe no a hundred percent. No, we're pretty much on. Pretty happy with that. I'm glad. Hey, no matter where I cut it, it'll go in. So we'll just we'll cut this on the bandsaw, we'll rough cut it on the bandsaw. Down to within half a mile, and then I'll go to the sander and we'll take it down to the pencil line, and that will ensure that we've got a nice snug fit on the box. So, so we look in there, we ain't got a snug fit on the box. Oh. So, we shall. Take it out of the sand on there. tight fit because I put a wee taper on it so it's it's 
snow, 45 degrees, smell like 40 degrees, so one end there is uh, a bit smaller than, than this end that's touching it, so that's nice. So before we put that on, but I want to mark out this feed it inside because I'm going to do a wee ledge. So let's just put that there. Which I know this is pretty much size I want it there. And then we'll we'll do a line inside. So I know that this is the bannock cut out for it to sit in there. Look. Right, so a bit of weight here. So this bit here. So let's get going. But I'm going to just sit this in front of my wee fan heater and just to help it with the glue drying like that. We don't want to leave it too much in front of heat. And no too hot. So I'm going to just cut it down to the final shape on the band saw. Grand saw. Basic final shape uh, or size. I'll smooth it out on the sand off, even though it doesn't matter because this will be can cut off, good bit of this will be can cut off, and then I'm gonna slope it down for the middle. So basically we really thin at this side, so it's unnecessary to to sand that out the new When it comes to these uh, hand lids, like there's a good wee bit of adjustment that, that does need done, look, just to get it right. So I'll probably we uh, want it to go in. No much. How about this? Look at that. Oh. 
Just a little white ice. Waste. Waste. I've had a bigger bandsaw. I could have, I could have used the bandsaw to cut this, which I've no, but I will. Um, most of the time I'd use the table saw to table cut this saw. stuff. Like. Table saw is the quickest way. Most the fishing way as well, but to get nice straight lines. Well, that's if I set it up right, so we'll see. But that is with joinery, carpentry, woodworking's all about. Trial and error, learning from your mistakes. this to the final shape we want. Is that what we pretty good? Let us continue to dry. So it's got a slight it's got a slight wee raised point right there, you know half a mile same there so I'll just use this and take it down. shape of wood. But again, I'm not actually gonna cut this shape because I'm gonna sh I'm gonna sand these the sides of these so it might be thinner at these bits so if i cut that now then it's going to be overhanging again and i'm going to do that again so there's no point in doing that way. this is dry enough i need to sort this bit as well but we're getting up so 
So next thing I do is the sand up. But I need to, I need to change the belt. Is the shape there? It sort of, it sort of goes up here, and it'll come down a bit. Um, so the the sander is good for that. I use it a lot for shaping and rough shaping. 
and the rest the rest of the sanding I'll do by hand. Um I think I might put chamfer on that which is basically making this corner flat. Um not decided yet but as with that um the gap the overcut here you can't know it's you can't tell apart from the gap right here. But it must be lived by, you know, it's uh can you see it? But it's filled in really good. A mistake, well fixed. So now we'll work on sanding this or the lid, the lid must be took down to its final shape now. Which I can use this, I can use this corner, this reference point here now, to do it. And then, once we've shaped this, sort of, gonna go down like that, each corner, and have a flat point in the top. And then that. And then once we've done all that, then we can oil it and polish it. And then we can call it done. But we'll start about way after that. Because I need to sand hand sand all this now. Take my time and hand sand all this and get it all glassy and nice and smooth. And then oil it to protect it. But that shall be us for tonight.